What's up guys, it's Black and bring you some more RA content. Today we got something a little bit special. I've been informed that there's uh, some shenanigans going on in this game. But in the top right, we have Milkman playing as Russia. And then in, in the bottom, in his red, it is Queef Inhaler. That is, of course, Moods. I think he is going to be the progenitor of this cheese today. Not sure what exactly is going to happen, but I just know that's going to be something special. Ron Duskwood. Uh, I like men's map very very standard fell out of the meta almost because it was so popular when it first came out and then I feel like it's gonna come back and swing around again where people are gonna want to play it now that Raggle's kind of coming to an end so what we'll to see looks like Milkman going with one rifle first just to kind of protect his engineer a little better nothing wrong with that Moods doing the same thing although his engineer's all alone uh, Milkman I don't think I've actually ever seen him do dog so not something Moods has to worry about in particular here Looks like standard opening so far for both players. Refs are on time, perfectly together. And yeah, yeah, that's the early game so far. Nothing, nothing too crazy. I'm, I'm waiting to see what happens. I know, I know something's gonna happen. I just don't know what. And I assume it's. Uh, oh, oh, well, we do have some grins, so that's a little bit cheesy. Let's see, two, three, three of them. Moods wins the first engagement barely. Draws that first blood. Yep, just uh, three grins. So. Coming over here, kill the comps, and it was really good. Looks like Barf was here briefly. Decided to go. There you go. Season 5, Season 6. I think it was Season 5 that I lost him in the finals. And that was 2018. Wow, that's five years ago. Crazy. Milkman, a little bit slow on his uh, second ref. And I'm not sure what happened there. Ludes is already a full power plant ahead and on that War Factory, so it's about 20 15 seconds. Never mind, I'm just dumb. Milkman with an early rough on the gem patch, not a bad idea at all, so he's actually, you know, he's doing something a little bit weird now. He's going, looks like triple rough maybe, versus Moods just doing double rough, so Moods definitely not the cheesy one so far. These Grens, I could actually kill the Engineer if they were going there, but unfortunately looks like they're going to go down here and try to snipe the power plant or something. I think on this map, sniping this comp center is it's good. Uh, these comp centers are actually pretty good for this guy, they, they pretty much cover all the way up to here, so you have like one cell that you can kind of get by, but... You know, that free vision is uh, very nice on this map since these, uh, it's really easy to lock down this side and this side and then this is like your longest area if you don't have it uh, secured with the base right here. Scrim's just going to chill off now. Milkman is going triple rest so that is a little bit special. I've seen this become a lot more common thanks to I think Zara doing his like really light tank builds. Uh, and I mean they're good, it's not that hard to counter. I, think, I know Andrew's been doing a lot of APC builds too. and. As long as you're not stupid aggressive and just relax, you're fine. Grin's gonna get down here, get one more burst off, and then the rifles clean him up. Yeah, as long as you're not like super aggressive against like a early light tank push or early APC push with triple ref, uh, you'll be fine. You just can't take like an engagement out of here in the field where the kid maybe get crushes off on you, or you're just your rocket density is not good. But if like you're anywhere near a base and you have a pillbox ready, you're you're gonna be totally fine. They don't have the rocket density to deal with all those pool boxes, especially if you have good target power on the rockets. And there's just the extra armor there is gonna help win you the game. So yeah, that's basically it. Just don't get caught out in the middle of the field and you're typically fine. Milkman just now getting his war factory out and Moods is about 15 seconds away from his SD, just getting up to six harvesters, so he's not even bothering with a scout vehicle. Milkman does have an army down here and I do like this because it is very common to move out this MCV without an SD or just after SD's place and start going into tanks instantly uh, since the, the kind of spawns are far just like Milkman's doing here actually so if Moods does move his main MCV right here that's a decent amount uh, four rockets I would like to see like a light vehicle but might be a little late coming out there he's gonna go ahead and kill the oil derrick that's not a bad idea that is gonna alert Moods and Moods is gonna do the correct thing and just pull all the sources back here and decides he's against it because this is nice to keep too and if he does pull all the sources here this is the next likely place to go and I mean, I don't know how much he really saw there, but four rockets is not that scary for a single pillbox, and it should be totally fine. Looks like Moods is uh, going to have the great wall of mines right here. I think he and Widow have rubbed off on each other for rattle. Moods has uh, been playing with mine layers, and Widow's been more aggressive, so definitely result of those two players playing together. He's just going to do a single line right here, I mean, which is great because mines are always hard to like determine how, how deep they are uh, personally I like doing it the opposite of this where if I was expecting units to come down here I'd kind of mine them in a line that way uh, you only really need to hit one 
mine triggered for people to kind of hesitate and stop. And uh, so if you know you hit one and then they try to keep going, there's more, then they're gonna think it's a lot deeper field. Whereas they do this and they push through, they don't know that it's not a deep field at all. A second mine layer out for moods and a third mine layer out for moods. So I have a feeling this cheese is the explosive variety and a fourth mine layer. And do we got a fifth? Yes, we do. So moods is just going to wall himself in with mines. Totally fine. Milkman on the other hand does have a decent sized army. Uh, where's his tanks though? He's only got one APC out. That's that's a little light. And uh, APCs actually don't fare well to mines at all. I don't even know if they can survive a single mine. But Milkman does have the control of pretty much the entire day of the map since Moods is going to be building radar too. So he's, he's really committing to this. He doesn't even have a ref over here because he's dry. So he's, his eco is just going to be crap. He's going to rely on these mines actually being really effective, which it's, it's hard to say with mines. Just judging by the way this mine player is working and this one's working, probably gonna miss these mines. This one actually might come in. About to see. But Milkman's gonna come down here for an attack, expecting there to be an MCV here. Now, this would be really good if he had something better to scout with instead of the APC, since their vision is a little bit wild. But uh, we'll see. Both these are actually gonna miss the mines so far, but if he goes in, he might catch just half of these. Hopefully, it's the rifles. Oh, one more cell. One more. What are the rockets? Not there. Come on. This is really Soviet dark. There we go. Boink. Just three rifles instantly dead. That's enough to scare him away. Although he totally could push forward. That is a Chinook full of something. And I'm going to assume it's rockets since I don't see any rockets anywhere else. And yeah. Eight rockets. It's definitely eight rockets. It's Chinook. <laughs> All the APC going down to the mines. That one was actually really effective. Just like I thought it would be. Schnook's gonna land, eight rockets pop out, say hello. Milkman is floating 10k, so it doesn't even need this. Two rockets going down. If he targets that Schnook, it's all dead. Oh, misses the first shot. Mine layer goes down back over here. Moods doesn't care, he's not even expanding yet. Doesn't even have another ref over here yet, so he's just somehow struggling on this. And I don't know how he has 3k or 2.5. One more mine layer goes down, and then it's going to get revenge. All those infantry are going to die. Plunk, plunk, plunk. <laughs> Three APCs still striving here. Finally, the ref goes down here for moves. So he's actually going to get a little bit of incoming in. And, of course, he's going to strike to tier 3, because why not? No rockets. Doesn't need rockets. Uh, if these APCs actually come down here, it's probably game over. But I have a feeling that's... Yeah, they're just going to go back away. And... Plunk. There's another free APC, so those mines are actually paying for themselves, surprisingly enough. APC drop, or the Chinook drop rather, over here. Three rockets left, actually gonna get a harvester because the man is probably not paying attention. But again, he's still got 10k, so he doesn't need it. Two artillery gonna have an absolute field day because there is no armor for no pan and those entire infantry detachment is just gone. These two APCs are gonna come in and say hi, and of course there's a turret, so they're just gonna kill a rifle. And then be some free energy for this already vetted up artillery. So if Milkman's in this position, I mean, he's got 10k float, just, just build anything and maybe some mine layers just to counter all these mines, because you've probably seen, what, three or four of them at least now, so. Boots is low power because Ally Tech Centers are expensive. They're power hogs. I don't know what it is. Maybe the GPS and watching that satellite and everything, but. They are 200 a pop for a tech center, and that is a lot of power, especially when advanced power plant is only 200. So you're basically paying 1500 of that and then 500 of that. So it's 2000 just to run that thing. It's a lot, a lot of energy. That I don't know about Germany in the 1950s, whenever RA history was, but we probably weren't energy efficient running that. I don't even know what these power plants are actually. I think they're steam or something like that because they have them in the cutscenes. We have a mine layer going down here. Chinook somehow still alive, just gonna be a nice little scout for moods. Milkman's coming over here, so he's gonna absolutely control the entire map. Even got a ref over here. Uh, still floating 10k, I don't expect that to go down anytime soon. But yeah, just caught these spine layers right in front of the same tree. As soon as they move, one more cell. One more. Or is this APC just gonna run into it? Oh, it's all so close. As soon as he moves, as soon as he moves, half that's just gonna instantly pop. Mine layer getting targeted over here. Another mine layer refilling that belt. <laughs> that was a sneeze, gentlemen. Uh, yeah. I have a tank finally coming out for 
something went down there. I think it actually might have been a mine layer. Just, or no, he has his own mine layer. He barely just caught that. Moon's finally going to expand. I mean, Milkman could totally come in down here. And of course he's going to. A few mines get caught. APC. Oh. He doesn't see these four though. <laughs> and then go down here. I hear more artillery firing over there. But Moon's going to lose a harvester. Pretty much all the rest of those mines actually might lose his MCV. Two longbows, not what he needs right here. He's going to rotate his entire army down. More MCVs going down there. Kill the ref. Oh, the shit finally goes down. It's sad. Moose is definitely aware of this with that. And I mean, I was sitting there, yeah. He's going to lose that ref. It's fine. He doesn't need that. He's just been living on this three little mines in this gem mine for a while now. Little fan sending out a technician. And that mine there finds some more mines. You're looking to find a bunch here too. Moving out his MCV there. I do like that. He's going to take that and release some other moods. This mine layer is in decent position. Uh, this one missed the mine. I mean, it's not too big of a deal. Might lose a five stack of rockets if he's unlucky, but. Did hear Tawny come out. Tawny is going to have a field day right there, or those artilleries, those long bows come around. Hefting is getting pushed back. It's gonna die. Probably would have died to the mines anyways. Oh, two more mines. Good, good chunk of infantry there. One more. Ooh, three rockets. That's expensive. <laughs> three more rockets. And those artillery. Now we have two vetted, two, one vet one. The milkman's slowly just pushing moods right now. See the GPS went off for moods, so he's exactly where what's happening. Milkman does have a significant number here, and there's, I mean, there's only three artillery, so no rockets for moods. He's, he's relying all on the longbows. But Milkman's just going to pull back, which is not a great idea, because there is another mine layer belt right there. That is a very forward radar, and Moods says thank you. I will shoot at that with my artillery. It's going to go down. I don't think Milkman is going to get a single tier 2 unit. He's instantly building his other radar again, too. Still floating 12k. Moods is somehow still floating 3k. I don't, I don't know how that's possible on three dry mines. That's just... That ain't it, Chief. Tanya gonna run away. Because those five rock soldiers were not enough. Another heavy tank going down. Another one going down. Nope, somehow only takes half damage. MCV is gonna get pushed away. And is it gonna hit the mine? No. Is the infantry gonna hit the mines? <laughs> Tanya goes down to his own mind. Oh my god. What is this game? I'm, I'm losing brain cells. I don't have a whole lot of brain cells left anyways. But oh my god, what few left I have are just struggling. Mood's still floating 2.5k. Milkman with a 12k float. Still no tier 2 units. Got an air filled out now. And he is rushed just so his pair bombs would actually be really funny if you pair bomb just to clear mines. Gonna lose the mine layer. That's unfortunate because he actually needs that. There is the gaggle of mine layers right there. He's gonna hit so many mines right here. Oh my god. Plonk. Plonk, plonk, plonk. Plonk, plonk, plonk. Plonk, plonk, plonk. Plonk. Plonk? Plonk? <laughs> MCV is gonna get away. I hear longbows going off somewhere. It looks like they're killing the harvesters, but. I mean, Milkman's still floating 12k. Not that significant. MCV does not get away somehow. Oh, never mind, just kidding. Barely gonna get away. These longbows are out of ammo. This one is not, so he's gonna get probably one more heavy tank. Or the mines will just take care of him, anyways. I hear more dying somewhere. Somehow this army avoided that mine belt. Actually gonna get the MCV now, finally. Barely gonna get it. But the artillery are in a really good position. That is a conga line of infantry. As soon as moves reach targets, that's all gonna die. One heavy tank left, and as soon as that sound, Tanya and the artillery are gonna have absolute field day. One's up to V electricity three now. No command does have tech center, so maybe we can see. Yep, Iron Curtain's gonna come. I mean, Iron Curtain not exactly what he needs. He just needs to attack and maybe some more mine layers and some flax. 
kind of going to run that infantry all the way back, but he is going to have some safety of the flame towers, although Moods could totally take care of them with the longbows if we really wanted to. Same time, the longbow brass finally has done a little bit to the cash flow for Mookman. Plonk, plonk. Uh, I, most of these tanks are probably going to die. That one's definitely dead. That one's going to live. This one, oh, they're all going to go on the same way, so they're barely going to get in, but this is actually pretty big. Three heavy tanks is going to do a lot of damage there, but there is a bunch of longbows. That yak is going to be uh, dead if he wants to kill it. Yep. Instant dead. Let's see, one harvester. Let's see if he gets the second one. Moves is not yet responded, but four longbows can definitely kill three heavy tanks. Might lose the second one just before... Whoa! Barely does not get the last burst off, so Mood still has four harvesters, five harvesters, six harvesters. That's more than enough that he needs, since he's just leeching from these gem mines. Let's see what Milkman's doing right now. He could, I mean, just yaks or migs or any, pretty much anything. Anything he wants. He could do his own mine layers and just smother Moods in that way. I'd love to see an atom bomb just take away, take a whole nine minutes to drop off and just right there. Just end Moods that way. That'd be really funny. I see is out. I mean, I don't know how good IC is actually going to be. He's got grand total of three heavy tanks to his name. And uh, he is finally broke. So looks like a long broke. Yeah, four harvesters over seven now. That's uh, that's significant. Doesn't have the gem mine harvester. Probably just needs to uh, back tech into harvest a little bit. The yak finding two mines. That parachute luckily hit the mine first. That MCV barely going to miss the mines. And the yak going down. And uh, yeah, Milkman is broke. His income is only like 1,500 more than Moods, which is surprising. Uh, those three heavy tanks definitely gonna die right now. Not even gonna get a harvester. Some flax would more than deal with that. <laughs> more mines going off. If this MCV goes away, I'm just and dies the mine, I'm gonna quit. The artillery might actually die. There goes one. Still getting so much value. The vet three one finally goes down. Does not get to elite. That is sad. But Tanya is still here. Tanya is more than capable of dealing with all that infantry. Especially when they move parallel to her. There's vet two. I see does absolutely nothing. <laughs> Yet comes in. The, yeah, that I see. Uh, not not the greatest one there, chief. Mine layer just gonna come and say hi to all these rockets because now Mood has nothing but rockets. I would love to see that Yak just crash right there. That would make my day. Mood is so broke that he can't even repair a helicab helicopter faster. And what is this? Nine harvester. So now he's back into his harvester build. Harvester longbow rocket build. That's who who needs anti infantry when you got that? The harvesters will do it. It's just crush. That's all you need. Two war factory. Har build harvesters. Crush. Perfect. I do see some flax. They actually might get a long bow if they're lucky. Looks like this mine layer is going to go down. That is unfortunate. That IC is very exposed. These longbows are kind of trapped unless these longbow or these flax hit a mine. Barely misses them, turns around. Harvester does go down. And that's going to be the IC too. Probably the radar. One longbow going to go down to the same site just because of bad rally. Here, flame tower somewhere. Shooting up the pilot. Yak's getting a lot of good value there. Of course, the heavy tank finds the one mine. All the rockets are just going to go down. There's two flax on patrol here unless they hit that mine again. But now they should be able to clear up all that. It'd be really funny if Moods manages to squeeze the rockets out through there, or if they just hit the on mine. We'll have to see. Just two two guys gonna make it. Just a, just a corporal and a half health private. Pair drop here, we're gonna find the harvester. Although it's coming from the wrong direction, that's totally okay. Moods is up to one, two, three, four, five, ten long goes? Nine long goes. Nine long goes. 10 harvesters. Pair drop's gonna instantly get crushed. Oh, good, good on his training. He managed to uh, combat dive out of that 
Harvester's way. Actually gonna lose a Harvester to the two rockets. That's pretty kind of funny. Hello, Tech Center. Goodbye, Tech Center. And of course, one artillery. Perfect shot. All five of those paratroopers gone. But, you know, they did the job. They got a Harvester. I would love to see a Tesla Coal just right here. Or maybe just move your base back. Milkman kind of needs some Harvesters. He's, uh, he's up to four again. I think he was down to three for a while. And, uh... Yeah, he should not be broke. He's got two right now. Just place them. Those gem mines are going to be good. And he's sending one back over here. That's really fine. Although I'd probably keep that locus harvest that real quick. There is five yaks. But uh, longbows do really good against yaks. And especially in the defensive stance. And those yaks don't really have a good target. I mean, three, I guess three artilleries would be good. He just came in and attacked me that way. Oh, the corporal and the private died. Their secret combat mission was not meant to be. Uh, yeah, I, uh, Great Wall of Flame right here, not doing anything, especially the Longbows, they're just gonna laugh and fly over it. There is some Sam Sites, and he's, that Lone Rock Soldier is gonna get killed by Longbow. And the Yak Flak is spotted, two go down, kill some mines of course, because why not, one more is gonna go down. Flak, hitting the mine, those hitting the mines, perfect. Another Harvester gonna go down up here, so he's back down to five. They're gonna find this one, so that'll be three again. And uh, yeah, Mood's still broke. Bookman's still broke. He's destroyed. Looking really good though. That is. At least 50% of that lead is just mines, so he's got 70,000 more killed and lost. And about 45 of that is just mines. Uh, that's, this, is, this is definitely something. Another Harvester gonna go down. Maybe, yep. Still got enough for one more if he really wants to. But, uh, he might try to choose to kill that MCV instead, but he doesn't have enough for that. I'd love to see a Sam site just pop up right here and just kill all of that. These flax were, I think, we're trying to hunt the one of those, but just ran out. Oh, that harvester is definitely dead. So now we are down to two harvesters, one on the gem mines. Hey, that heavy tank found that lone mine, survived. He's building another MCV. Okay, three MCVs. I mean, yeah, these longbows are really annoying, but harvesters are what you need, look, man. Moods still has these bind layers working. He's locus harvesting with his harves. Probably should pull like all of them. Gets the tech center. Not gonna get the uh, radar. Kind of unfortunate. He definitely could have done that if he targeted, but tried to run them my way, and I'm not sure why. But uh, this game is just kind of a meme at this point. I don't think Milkman was playing too seriously. I don't think Boots was playing too seriously. It's just kind of throwing something out of the wall and seeing what sticks. And uh, some shit stuck, that's for sure. Medics, rockets, artillery, mine layers, longbows. And yeah, who knew that was the penultimate strategy in Open RA? We don't need tier 1.5 spam. You just need tier 1.5 for mine layers and then tier 3 spam for longbows. And some tier tiers for artillery. So, you know, it's just one from each tier. One unit from each tier is all you need, except for the, the rockets and the medics. They don't, they don't really count. He could, he'd probably be better off with just rockets. The medics aren't going to do anything. Oh. Oh. Nope. Mine layer gets away. Troops are not going to hit the mines this time. This harvester is definitely going to die. Vet 2 longbow stays alive. Be really nice to see if he actually repaired it, but he's probably not going to. But she considering these ones are not repaired either. His harvester is refusing to work. It's a long distance work. He wants to work from home. Unfortunately, the mine is too far away from home, and Moose is not willing to relocate and build closer to there, so it's just how it is sometimes. These five longbows gonna find another harvester. So Hookman is once again back down to two. And there goes his radar. Barely. Yep, one rocket left there. Milkman is slowly, just slowly, oh, oh, but now we got medium tanks now. This is scary. If Moods actually decides he wants to attack now, I don't know if Milkman can actually really stop this. Uh, he doesn't have enough anti-armor, and that is, that is a whole lot of everything. Yeah, Moods actually has 
double the army value of the command right now. That, that's crazy. Two yaks can go down just to find out that there was an egg in there. And now the longbows are going to kill the rest of the yaks. And unfortunately for Milkman, he has no idea that there's this big army here. And now he's finally going to see it. Going to pull everything, probably going to run into a few mines. Yep, a lot of mines. It's alright, he's Soviets, those technicians are giving their lives for Mother Russia. But he's losing a lot of flax and he needs every one of those. Yeah, this is a... <laughs> this was a game, and I think it's uh, it's finally over. Oh, I screwed up my mouse, but I don't even care. Now we're just gonna... We're gonna roll. I just have to be very slow with my movements. Yep, Mood's just on assault move, because why not? And I don't think Milkman has enough. I mean, he's got three heavy tanks there and some flax, but... Oh, flax might actually might get a longbow. Nope, not quick enough. Goodbye, heavy tank. Goodbye, mine lair. Moods has cleaned up this base. There's uh, medics just keeping these technicians and rifle occupied. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There, there it is. That, that was what we were waiting for. Most of the longbows finally down. Just four left. Only four longbows. It's fine. Lewis has this giant army that is pretty much unstoppable. It's 40,000 to 13,000. Uh, yeah, three heavy tanks is not going to be able to beat this. Especially when half this army is rockets anyways. So There is still five mine layers. And I think that was Lewis is losing his own units. He's about to lose a medium tank. Yep, thank you, Mines. You are now doing your job perfectly. You are doing what Mines do, being neither friendly nor opposing, just kind of hating everybody equally. This flame Tower is uh, going to die. Good angle of attack here from Milkman, but his tanks are in the back, and it's face first into an artillery. And, uh, yeah, that should be all of Bookman's army. He's down to seven, up to eight, down to six. He has two harvesters working, three flax, five flax coming over. Luckily, they're not going to hit any more mines. And, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is Bookman's last stand right here, I think. And, uh, Luz is going to walk right on through. Fox are going to do their best. Probably should go down here, get the artillery. Looks like that's what they're trying to do. And all, all the artillery dies, but at the cost of the rest of Pokemon space. One flak left, not even enough to kill the medics. Longo's going to kill another harvester because why not? Milkman is low power. Moods is somehow floating 6k again. Finally, it's probably because of that expansion right there. This is Milkman's last main base right here. He's got absolutely nothing to defend it with. 1800 army value. That, that is two rockets. And what else does he have? Two rockets, a rifle, and a flak. War Factor going to go down. Let's see if he can get some decent crushes for the harvesters. Nah, they're just going to do their thing. Milk Command's going to run an MCV in the corner. Perfect. That's exactly how this game should end. He's got his other MCV in this other corner. That is 100% fantastic. Would not expect anything less from this game. I think that's the first pair drop we've seen. No, second pair drop, sorry. Looks like they might actually heal Harvester just as effective as the first pair drop. One more rocket. Oh, it just gets out of range. Pair drop wasn't even as good as the first one. And of course, there was a pillbox ready. Mood's gonna clean up this last little base. There is four rockets and some rifles to violently give their lives in defense of this refinery. Two airfields and a war factor over here. The MCV is just chilling. This MCV is finally getting down there. Moods is just going to clean this up 
and then probably have to use GPS, which he just now built his tech center again. It's gonna be a minute. Longbow's assertion, and they're, they're gonna find this in that little bit right there. Okay, it's gonna move his bandit back to the main base. I like that. Damn, that flame tower, double kill on a medium tank. That deserves a veteran seat promotion. Still killing away. Gets one more rifle, just says to fuck you before it leaves. NCV is nice and safe over here. SimsV is not yet found. Wait for it. I'm waiting, Milkman. I've been waiting since minute 10. I'm waiting for a sweet, sweet release of death right now. Comp Center lived, so that's nice. This is it. Four rifles in a flame tower. A flak that's probably gonna die. And this rifle's gonna die. Aw, oh, doesn't even get another shot. And there it is. There is the end to something. I don't know if I could qualify it as a game necessarily, but uh GG, I guess. And I'll see you all next time.